On this page, we'll talk more about measuring the spread about the mean. As we said before, we know how to measure spread about the median if that's what's used to measure center. But now, if we use mean as the center, how do we measure spread? We kind of talked about standard deviation, but we're going to get more into it in the next few pages. Uh, one intuitive way to measure the spread about the mean is to calculate the average distance of the data points from the mean. So all all the data points that are that are in your distribution measure all their distances from the mean. How many units away are they? And then average them out. So it's yeah, I think we talked about in the previous video. It's the mean of the means, the average of all the averages of the distances. Um, like with any average, we find the sum and divide by the number of data points. So we will. So we'll find the distance of each data point from the mean and we'll add up the distances and divide by the number of data points. So below we have an example of that. We're calculating the average distances from the mean here. Okay, so in this example the data set just includes a few numbers, kind of like the example that we we threw in randomly in the last video. Um, we have 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. That's seven different data values, right? Two, four, six, yeah, seven data values, okay. The mean of this data is 5, so if you add all those 7 numbers together, divide by 7, you get 5, and then they have it illustrated here. Remember x bar, x with a little line above it means the mean, so it's illustrating that we, we've added all the data values. And now down below is a, is a dot plot of the data set, and it has the mean marked by a vertical blue line. We've seen that in the previous, in the previous module with the, the median, um, but here's the distribution. Um, we're going to calculate the distance of each data point from the mean by subtracting. So pretty much it's exactly what you would think. You're going to take each data point and subtract it from the mean, 5. So the first data point is 2. We just do 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay. That looks like a fraction. I'm sorry, but I just <laughs> put it below. And then the next data point, also 2. So we do it again, but for the other two. So that's those are the two distances from the mean the fir for the first two numbers. And then we have a 4, so we'll subtract 4 from from 5, which is the mean, and get 1. Okay, and then we have the next data point, 5. Obviously, you're going to get 0 when you try to subtract that from the mean, because that is the mean. Um, then 6, 5 minus 6, um, and it's okay to get a negative number. And then we have... But we're going to talk about absolute values here. I think you've probably seen heard that in, a, in an algebra class, but we're going to say... Um, that we're always going to have a, a positive distance. So even though 5 minus 6 is negative 1, we're going to talk about positive distances here. Um, yeah, because how can you have a negative distance? You know, if someone said, oh, I live negative one mile away from that restaurant, you're going to say, what? Negative one mile? I don't know. Negatives make sense in some situations, but not distances, I don't think, makes too much sense. So the next data point was 7. We're going to subtract that from 5. That'll be negative 2, but we're just going to yeah, make it positive. My best Sorry about that. My son was watching his cartoons. Uh, we got the last data value is 9. We'll subtract that from 5 and get negative 4, but I'm going to make it positive. So these the distances, distances from the mean are all, li are all listed there. The, the values below. 3, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, Four. So if we average these, I can add them all together, and I think they've done that here um, for us down below. But we can add them all together. Three plus three plus one is seven. Plus zero is it still seven? Plus one, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. So I add them all together. Three plus three plus one plus zero plus one plus two plus four, and I divide by all the number of values. There are seven of them, and we said that's fourteen, right? Two. Um, yeah, 14 over 7, which is 2. So the average the average distance um, of all these data values from the mean is 2. Okay. So they've shown down here that they've done the same. Um, add the distances and divide by 7. Okay, they showed that. They got 2 as well. The average distance from the mean is 2. Statisticians will say that, the, that on average the data deviates 2 units from the mean. That's kind of important to keep that that language in mind. The data deviates two units from the mean. Okay. A statistician will use the 
the word deviation instead of distance. So average distance from a mean is also called average deviation from a mean. Let's, that might be something to write down. Average deviation from a mean. Yeah. ADM. So kind of like interquartile range. Now we'll summarize this process in a formula. We begin by finding how much... So this is probably a good idea to write this down. It's kind of a, a new formula we haven't seen before. We begin by, by finding how much each data point deviates from the mean by subtracting. So take that data point and subtract the, the mean, x bar. And like we said, we always try to make it positive. So imagine the absolute value. We interpret these deviations as a positive distance. In symbols, we use absolute value to denote positive distance. The difference, x minus x bar, is actually the absolute value of the difference. So changing it from parentheses to bars just means if I get a negative, I'll change it to a positive. That's all. When we sum the distances or add them together, we use the symbol for sum, which is the Greek symbol sigma. In the symbols, the sum of the distances is, so this, this little formula here just means add together all the distances, and that's what we did in this example as well. Um, to find the average distance, aka the average deviation, we divide by the sample size, which is always represented by the letter n. In symbols, the average distance from the mean is the sum of all the distances of each data value from the mean, absolute value over n, divided by the number of data values. This formula summarizes the process we used in the previous example. We will not ask you to calculate average distance from the mean for large data sets by hand. Oh, thank God. We will have you do uh, one or two average deviations from the mean calculations to make sure you understand the concept of average deviation from the mean. Yeah, it'd be kind of, it would, it's not very feasible or it's not advisable actually to do, do this calculation by hand if there are a lot of data values because, you know, humans make mistakes. We'd make a calculator do it, or yeah, a program, or a computer.